Hey. I'm traveling to an often overlooked corner of southeast Barbados to discover more about Bayesian beach culture and meet local surf legend and surf school pioneer Zed Layson. Situated in the southern part of the Caribbean, away from the region's main hurricane belt, Barbados enjoys year long surf along the southeast and west sides. It's best between November and March when strong easterly trade winds blow and the waves unpeel like ripe fruit. I've realized that the simplest things in life are the best things. And my approach to Surfer's Point, or anything I do, is to try to simplify it so the layman can understand clearly what we're doing without having to over explain yourself. Now the ocean gives you that because it's, it's a very powerful source of energy and you can't conquer it. The best you can do is manage yourself in it and come back out unscathed. So anyone who thinks they can conquer the ocean, they need to check themselves, you know, because out there it's very powerful. And it's amazing how many things that we just take out there for granted. Surfing has just opened my eyes to so many different things and with the studies I'm doing, it makes it more fun for me. And the world outlook that I've developed through travel writing is much more about finding the positives to represent places anthropologically and geographically by subtly exploring them and not looking for answers and not looking for journalistic revelations, but slowly and carefully and honestly getting involved in the place and getting a real sense of what it's like to be there. Haiti, the western one-third of the island of Hispaniola, became the first independent black republic in 1804, and it remains one of the most exciting countries to experience in the Caribbean. Haiti is a mosaic 